Bravo team. Bravo team, do you copy? This is Sergeant Mitchell, do you copy? We lost team Charlie. We wiped out everything. What's the location? Anything about this Freeman guy? Got him. I'm coming back, boys.
whatever it takes. However long it takes before I die, I will fucking kill you. Mitchell in the flesh, or rather, his remains. Hmm. I do have to admit, I'm impressed that you made it back alive from Black Mesa, even if it wasn't our intention to begin with. Yet you are still here. You should have just died there, but here you are. You've proven yourself a man of rare conviction. <laughs> but even this does not impress me as much as the words you speak. <clears throat> Whatever it takes, whoever it takes, <laughs> however long it takes, before I die, I will kill you. Is that right? Well, you see, Mr. Mitchell, we cannot let you kill Dr. Freeman yet. They authorize me to offer you a deal. You will be rewarded with authority, power, and time. The only payment we ask when the time comes, keep your promise, Mr. Mitchell. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Shit, I'm losing too much blood. I need to patch myself up. Hey! Wait! I need that med kit, buddy! I need that! Come back here! Bring that back! Ain't nothing personal, but you better give that to me before it does get personal. You're right. I'm fine, thanks. An HECU? What are special forces doing here? I was about to ask the same question. National Guards? Anyways, are you alone? Is there anyone else with you? Negative. It's just me. 
What the hell is going on out there? There is no easy way to put it, but as far as we know, we're under an alien invasion. Those things are targeting mainly military bases. It's been just two hours. First one big portal appeared, then ten, then a hundred. The best thing is to get the hell away from them. What about the army? There's no more army. No more military. We're the only ones left. Listen to me. We're gathering on the metro station on Brandon Street. If you can make it there, find Colonel Q. Tell him Nick sent you. Take this radio and map with the station marked on it. Use it. Good luck to you. Mitchell. Godspeed, Mitchell. Hey, Mitchell. Welcome to Albuquerque.
Do you copy? We just left the hospital, but the streets are either fucked or swarming with those aliens. We'll have to find another way to Brandon Street. And we'll have to find one quickly if we want to get out of this city. Go ahead, Mitch. I got this covered. The hell? Someone on the channel. That would be worse. What the hell was that?
So, you're that sniper, huh? Black Ops? And you must be Mitchell? And you must be the one on the radio. I heard that you guys have a plan about getting out of the city. Maybe. I want in. Why? Hey, let's make a deal. I'm listening. Good. First, let's lower the guns, okay? I can get you to Brandon Street with shortcuts and give you sniper support, but I want in. I'm getting the hell out of this city. Alive. So whatever your plan is, I'm in. When we're out, I'll go my own way. Until then, I'm the only friend you got. So tell me, Mr. Black Ops, why should I trust you? You guys fucked us over at Black Mesa. Adam. What? My name, it's Adam. And we just followed orders. They sent us to do the job you guys failed to do. You killed your own people! Didn't you? By the time we got there, you guys already killed more than half the Black Mesa staff. That was different. How? Face it, Mitchell. I did nothing different than you. At least I didn't backstab my own brothers in arms. I already told you it was an order. You ever disobey orders? Now I got a question for you, Mitch. How the hell did you make it alive from Black Mesa? I found my way back. How did you get out, Adam? Well, I guess I found my way back. Hmm. <laughs> so, Mitch, we got a deal or what? Well, looks like you're in. Alright then, let's get the hell out of this goddamn city. Adam, are you sure this is a shortcut? That's the fastest way to Brandon Street, trust me. Smells like shit.
I'll take care of your baby. Mitchell, don't move. They set up claymores. Looks like all of them are connected to each other. If you follow the cables, you shoot down the main. Cease fire! Cease fire! They're human. Well, well, look who we got here, boys. A black ops and a marine. Hoorah. Let me introduce myself, son. I'm Colonel Q, but you can call me Sir. Colonel, I met some of your men, Nick and Brad, at the hospital. They said you have a plan to get out of the city? That's right. We do have a plan. We'll run away. Where can we run away? Those aliens are everywhere. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. This picture came from our contact, Captain Roosevelt. It was taken in California. They're in the air and on the ground. Not on the sea. Correct. But there's no sea in New Mexico. Well, that's why we're going to California. But first we need this goddamn train to move. Someone has got to get past those zombies, get in the control room, and activate the train. Any volunteers? That's real brave of you, Larry. Your country's proud of you. Hello? Me? I did not volunteer, sir. If your mother was alive, she'd be proud of you, son. My mother's dead? You might die. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <sighs> All right, I'll do it. Good. Take Larry with you. Do your Marine thing. Yes, sir.
Welcome to Station 8. Colonel, you need to see this. It's the President. My fellow Americans, as your President and Commander-in-Chief, it is with a heavy heart that I'm informing you that we have made a strategic decision to surrender to the alien invaders known as the Combine. Right now, this is the best chance for our survival as Americans and as humans. This has been the hardest decision of my life, and I did not do so lightly. As Americans, and indeed as human citizens, we have never willingly surrendered to oppression. And this very idea is anathema to our core values and everything we hold dear. Yet, the fact and hard truth remains that we lost this battle for now. And believe me, we will live to fight another day. We shall return. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. I never voted for this guy. I guess you don't understand the situation, my friend. We're all dead men walking. Those... things. The only thing we know for sure is those things are smarter than we thought. Think about it. The first hour they come through the portals, but not just random locations. First, those motherships targeted the military bases. So they cut all the firepower we had, then they released the grunts to the populated areas, cities. It's like they know the way we are. They know our weaknesses. Those creatures can be many things, but they're not stupid. Do you know something we don't, Black Ops? Well, I guess I do. Well, maybe you should open your mouth and start talking. The aliens are coming! We've been compromised! Spit it out, Corporal! Oh, Colonel. We are so fucked. Everybody take possession! Mitchell, you gotta get that door open in 15 minutes! Move, move, move!
Welcome to Nevada, boys. Where's the rest of you? They're dead. All of them. Combine got them. Colonel Q? Dead. Shit. He was always a tough bastard. Toughest son of a bitch I ever knew. I'm Lieutenant Harvey, and these are my men. Fifth Ranger Company. Sergeant Mitchell. Adam. Nick. All right, Sergeant. We got six hours to make it to the beach. The road to California will take a few hours, then we're gonna stop by the warehouse to get some supplies, and people too if we can. We're expecting some heavy combat with Combine on the way. You guys take this one. Why don't you get up on the gun and follow us? Rangers, lead the way!
ASAP. You guys handle those. I'll go check the factory. Lost your fucking mind? L lower that thing. You're gonna blow us all up. Jesus, man. Calm down. Don't fucking tell me to calm down. There's a gas leak that can blow half of us all the way to hell with a fucking match. Half the guys on the planet are stuck inside, and the other half became brain fucked zombies because they got a big ass spider with a huge vagina stuck on their head. And you expect me to be calm? Okay. You're right. Now help me out here, alright? Tell me, how do we get them out? There's two ways to get them out of there. The first is getting the generators on so that we get the power back on to open the doors. Okay. What's the second way? The second way? I forgot, okay? I'm under pressure here. Give me a fucking break. First way, then. Remember, no weapons. Here, take this. A wrench? Why a wrench? Because I only got one crowbar, and I have no intention to give it away. Well, I got bad memories with crowbars anyways. Mitchell, by the way. Joe. But everyone calls me Boston Joe. Alright, Joe. Let's save your friends from spiders with vaginas. Wait a minute. I thought you said no weapons. About the shotgun, yeah. Uh, it was the other room that had the gas leak, not this one, so you're fine. Really? I mixed it up, yeah. Uh...
This should do it.
Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by this some have entertained angels without knowing it. Hebrews 13.2 Welcome aboard, gentlemen. I am Captain Roosevelt. Tell me, who is in charge of all these warriors? Please step up. Your name, young man? I'm Sergeant. I have no interest in your rank. Your name? Who are you? Mitchell. Mitchell, huh? Yes, Mitchell. A name with many meanings. For some, the meaning is a gift from God. For others, who is like God? Which one are you, Mitchell? Are you a gift from God sent to save us? Or perhaps you are God himself come to doom our worthless lives? Perhaps. He's cursed. Cursed, eh? What kind of curse is this? Nothing but some bullshit. Whoever is at the top of his command dies. Colonel Q, Sergeant Harvey, they're all dead. But whatever happens, he lives. It's just a coincidence. There's no such thing as a curse. We'll see about that, Sergeant. You and your men from now on are under my command. Welcome to Avalon Vale, and welcome to the crew. Incoming!
You made a deal with the devil. Here yeah, you have it. <laughs>Looks like you're the captain now. Captain Mitchell. It's been three years since the Seven Hour War. There are no more countries, only territories where they once were, all the governments having been replaced by one, the Combine. The alien Combine Empire had enslaved humanity, put in place a puppet leader, Dr. Breen, and then started siphoning the Earth's resources. Shorelines fell, exposing the seabed. The remaining humans were gathered in cities, the world outside of such areas filled with wildlife native to other worlds, making the exteriors of cities dangerous. Facilities like Nova Prospect were opened, their goal being to modify humans, erase their memories, and assimilate them into their armies. While some humans were conscripted into service, others volunteered, either for preferred treatment, better living conditions, or personal reasons. Thus, the Civil Protection Branch of the Combine Overwatch was formed, Earth's so-called police. The Combine Overwatch was an impressive force to be reckoned with, but an exploit was found. They had immense power over the air, and even more on land, but they lacked naval capabilities due to their overall goal of draining that resource. Until that happened, we needed a way to defend our ship from their air superiority, and for that, we needed to go to City 9 otherwise known as New Alaska.